So people are without power in Memphis and having to stay in hotels. I hope that they're not overcharging people and knowing that they don't have power. But this couple here sat in their house all day uh, yesterday and decided that they, you know, couldn't continue to do that without power and had to come and get a hotel room. I, this is sad. Is checking in to hotels as their power remains out. We just needed to get someplace warm and fed. Justin Cooper bringing his wife and five-year-old daughter to the Central Station Hotel on Saturday. Can you imagine being in frigid cold weather like that and the ice is that thick and you have kids, no power, no way of cooking, just stuck. Oh my goodness. To get someplace warm and fed. Justin Cooper bringing his wife and five-year-old daughter to the Central Station Hotel on South Main today after sitting in the dark and cold since yesterday morning. Been, been down since then. Made it through the night and just decided enough was enough. We just didn't figure that it was going to get any better or any hotel. Other residents doing the same, filling every or almost every room in the downtown area. Sometimes we just have to stop and thank God for the little things. Being able to go and get a hotel room. You got to be thankful. You never know. We're warm, we're safe, we're good. But many families still have no place to go. A worker at the Hyatt on Beale says it breaks her heart to turn people away, while a representative at the Peabody says they had to set aside rooms for their employees so they have a place to stay. It's cold and it can be very dangerous. That's why Daniel Mullinex booked a room at Central Station ahead of time. I actually booked it before our power went out. Imagine knowing that, that you're not going to be able to stay in your home you have to get a hotel room and then you get to the hotel room and they are understaffed <laughs> the, the the normal hospitality you can't even get cuz they only have people enough people that are to to service you this is crazy that's why daniel mullinex booked a room at central station ahead of time i actually booked it before our power went out because i knew there's no way we were not going to lose power so. worried about them wondering when their power his power and plenty of other people's power will come back that's the hope is that it won't last you know more than a couple days maybe a day but you know, history kind of tells me that this might be a little bit more serious than just a day for a lot of people. Yeah, to make matters worse, many of these hotels are dealing with staffing shortages because of the pandemic. In fact, one manager told me it was so busy today, she had to help make food in the kitchen. Live downtown, Andrew Ellison, WRG News, Channel 3. Let y'all, let's pray for Memphis. Let's keep them in our prayers tonight. And all the other states who have... Been without power in Texas, too. Yeah, you know, it's a lot going on. Let's just be mindful of that and thankful. Stay warm.